As the new school year is set to begin, now is a good time to remind everyone that back to school affects not only school students and families, but also drivers on the road. Shelley Bortz joins us live in Green Tree with tips to keep everyone safe as we head out to school. In the next week, students will be returning to school. That means drivers like these folks out here will need to step up their safety when they're around school zones, bus stops and crosswalks. It's very important that you realize that our streets are going to be much more uh, busy and for, for that reason, they're going to be much more dangerous. Going back to school can be a dangerous time of year as new and inexperienced drivers, pedestrians and bicyclists share the road in the morning and afternoon hours. Last year alone in Allegheny County, AAA says there were 301 pedestrian crashes. Of those, 14 happened on 5th and Forbes Avenues in Oakland, near Pitt's campus. I feel like I know a lot of people who have had close calls. With that in mind, AAA says drivers can save lives by having a heightened sense of awareness from the minute they leave their driveways. And the most important thing they can do to reduce injury is slow down and stay off the cell phones. We don't want yet another person to lose their life for us to realize that this is a very serious issue. According to AAA, a pedestrian hit while a car is going 25 miles per hour is nearly two-thirds less likely to be killed compared to a pedestrian hit going just 10 miles per hour faster. You have to have some, some kind of self-awareness, right? I guess you just have to take care of yourselves. It's just as important for pedestrians to be vigilant on the road as it is motorists. Anything you can do to be more visible is absolutely necessary. That can be anything from wearing bright colored clothing to if you're walking at night, making sure that you're wearing reflective gear as well. School bus safety is also a high priority. In 2020, PennDOT says there were over 150 school bus crashes in Pennsylvania alone. We can reduce that number by simply following the laws. Make sure that any time that the flashing lights are on and the stop light or the stop sign is pulled out, that you are stopping at least 10 feet away from the school bus. The only time that there's an exception to that is if there is a physical barrier in between the lanes. Now, here are a couple of tips for students who are riding a bus this school year. You should line up at least five feet away from the curb or the roadway waiting for your bus and never, ever chase the bus down if you missed it after it has left your bus stop. Reporting live tonight in Green Tree, Shelley Bortz, KDKA News.